Hello everyone, I'm Rachel Lowe from Physiopedia. Today I am very excited to be joined by two lovely ladies in Sudan um, from the Clubfoot Clinic there. We spoke to Elia before about the Clubfoot Clinic that they run in Sudan and I am delighted to be talking to Shad and her colleague who's a physiotherapist. I'll ask you both to introduce yourself at the, in a moment. Um, you are involved in the mothers group at the Clubfoot Clinic so I am really excited to talk to you about that and just to hear your experiences so before um, you talk a little bit about that could you would you mind just both introducing yourselves and telling us each of you just telling us a little bit about yourselves and then we'll talk about the clinic. Okay thank you Rachel for this uh, opportunity to speak a little bit about the Clubfoot in Sudan that we recently started in KCH uh, KZH is uh, one of the rare uh, centers for club foot in Sudan, actually it's the only one, and we are so happy that we started to work on it uh, last year, uh, last two years. And uh, just to start, my name is Ala, I'm working for ICRC as a uh, resident physiotherapy, and um, after establishing this program, we started slowly, slowly to catch the patient who are complaining from uh, club foot. And slowly, slowly, we started to get uh, many numbers of patients. And uh, uh, the son of Shad, he was one of the lucky guys that uh, we started to work with him. And then we started the treatment with the with the Pond City technique. And uh, we are so glad to see the difference of the results that we uh, we saw after using this technique in the center. Okay, so I'm really, I'm so, I, it's really good to hear a, about a successful clinic that you've set up and started and that you've seen some really lovely results with the children that you've been working with. So Shad, um, would you um, just tell us a little bit about yourself and I'd love to hear your story about um, your experience with uh, your experience and your son's experience as well. Okay, my name is Shad Adelgade, so uh, I came to the Shisha. Uh, with my son to kill him, but I uh, I feel there's a problem when I was pregnant with him. So the problem is that uh, it's always I, I feel it in my stomach. So they uh, when I delivered him, they told me about the club food, and I uh, I searched about the healing the clear uh, the club food, and I found shisha. So uh, I went to him. I went to the I went there. And we, and we started, we started the treatment. And now it's very good. Yeah, so how, um, how, so you, so he was just a baby when you came first, came straight to the clinic when he was a baby. How long has it taken, how long did the treatment take? And how was your experience of going through the treatment with your son? First thing I that I, uh, I start, uh, I start with him. So uh, from the first day, so it took uh, the cast uh, for two months, two months of cast, and uh, then the three months for the shoes. It's count all all the five uh, five months. Five and, uh, months. Five months. Yeah. Now, after uh, after five months is good, uh, but uh, I think they uh, they have to wear the shoes at night to be not uh, not get back. Yeah. It's full. Yeah. 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 And how is he now? Is he running around? Yes, yeah, I'm very happy. <laughs> ah, good, that's really good to hear. And so for you as a mother, I mean, he's obviously very happy. Um, he is running around now and is very happy. And I did just see him before we started recording, which was lovely to see. But for you, um, how has the experience been for you as a mother coming to the clinic? Uh... I don't know. Maybe I was shocked first, uh, the first time. First time I see my baby, that I was shocked. But not, but I'm thinking about how to heal him, not to be sad about this problem. So I have to search, uh, search very very fast to 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 heal him. Uh, I know that uh, the most uh, the fastest uh, the fastest I, I began that yeah he he will be healed healed faster. Yeah. Yeah. 
Okay, and so since then you have um, become involved in setting up a group for mothers to um, sort of talk to each other and support each other. Can you tell us a little mm -hmm. bit about that? Yeah, we uh, we I have uh, I have come uh, for a uh, uh, for me and with Tima question a meeting for mothers. Ah uh, yes, for several meeting for the for mothers. So they they always complaining about the time so uh, the time of healing. But when they see my son, it's very it's healing. It uh, it encourage him. Have encouraged him for. Uh, for, for for him his uh, his all child they the child too yeah it's good with him yeah and with me too I feel that uh, I do something good for him and good for my son yeah I feel a proud of myself yeah yeah it's it's a really it's a really good thing to do so in the so your son's in the clinic in the meeting sorry and um, when you meet with the mothers and and is. And that's about they get to see him running around, do they? So that it gives them confidence that um, yeah. what they're doing is the right thing and that sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's make him. It make him that that uh, they will. Uh, they will move on with the healing, so they will stop the healing about their children too. They will be more patient about that. When they see that the results here, they see it. Uh, Alive, there's a result alive, you know. Mm -hmm. and, <laughs> and do the mothers get to talk to each other so that they can learn from each other's experiences? Yeah, they talk to me, they talk to me. Someone that told me that uh, they will stop the healing. He, he doesn't, yeah, she doesn't want to come. But when she see, yeah, when she seen my, uh, they told me that uh, I, will, I will be back. Oh, that's really good. <laughs> Yeah, that's really nice. And I think the it, it just seems like the um, support networks of the parents and the carers can be so beneficial. Um, and these meetings, I think it's amazing that you've set up this uh, meeting for the mothers as well. So I want to come to you um, and ask about from the physiotherapy side of things of the mothers meetings. How, how do you see that it's benefiting the parents and carers or the mothers that are coming into your clinic? So most of the time uh, we face um, a ladies that they are really so, uh, um, I don't know how to say that, maybe then you can cut this part, but uh, some of the mothers, they are really worried about the, their babies and they cannot understand the idea of the, the treatment of uh, club food, it needs time and they have to be patient a little bit because it will take stages. And then they have to understand the idea of the, how to keep this, uh, the nice feet after the treatment, how they can keep it like it, as it's the, the correct position. So they mainly complain about that we cannot continue. Sometimes in Sudan here we are coming from, uh, they are coming from different places they uh, it's really hard for them to leave their other kids and to stay with us in the center for a few uh, months or a couple of weeks sometimes it's really difficult to convince and uh, it we take it takes us a long of time to to make them really realize the importance of this uh, treatment so we thought about why we don't involve the mothers like Shat, and she can share her experience and the story and at the same time she can take her son as a real example for the for the result of the treatment and uh, with Elia we started to think about it we involved the social worker in the center and even the other physios they were so happy by the idea and at the end we tried one day to bring all the mothers we invited them and she was the, the good example of that she started to speak about them about her experience they have to be patient for sure they will get a little bit of difficulties but they are so strong to go through it yeah i know that we will face many mothers 
that they will uh, still facing problems, but at the end with the other groups, they can they they can change their minds at the end. It sounds. I mean, it sounds amazing to me. It sounds like it's um, quite a significant has quite a significant impact on 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 the ha- on the outcome for the child because um, you're able to really help support the mothers and encourage them to return for the treatments and and um, continue to through to the end, and you're able to show with your son. Um, how amazing the tre- the treatment can be for them. So, um, listening to your story, listening to the reasons why you set up the clinic, and Shad, listening to your experience of what you went through and how you've been helping the other mothers, I think it's such an amazing story. And I'm really grateful to you both um, for spending the time today just to talk to me and to share the, your experiences with you. Um, thank you so much. Is there anything else that I haven't asked or we haven't talked about that you think is really important for maybe other mothers or or even other physiotherapists to hear from your experiences? Yeah, I want to, I want to tell you something that uh, even even if, uh, if they have a child, more children in their home, it, uh, I don't think it's a problem. So if, they, if they, uh, anybody not help him, uh, there's no need. I don't have anyone to help me. No, no, no mothers, no sisters, no everyone. I just leave leave my uh, the other child on uh, the kids are charging, uh, can, uh, and uh, in the school, yeah. and I, I get back my uh, my little son and uh, to cure. So it's not a problem. I think it's a, if you have a, a very good will to uh, to cure your son, it's just enough. Just this is enough. Yeah, it's. it's enough. It's such a positive experience and it's such a positive outlook that you have and, and, and sharing that positivity about the experience. I think it's really, um, really helpful to hear and I think it highlights, definitely highlights how important the mother um, peer support networks are. So thank you so much for sharing uh, your experiences with us today. Um, is there anything else you'd like to share or have we covered everything? Thank you. I just have uh, a small message for the physiotherapists, like for club food kids, you have to involve the mothers because without them, it's really difficult to continue the treatment. As long as they are really convinced about it and it really works, so there is nothing to do. It's really good when we have a really confident mother and she wants to continue, then we can start the treatment smoothly. And that's a really important message. And I think that's been highlighted just by talking to yourself and to Shad today. So thank you both so much for joining us. Um, it's, uh, it's really good to hear your stories um, and a really positive message. So thank you both. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, Rachel. You're almost good.